Hey, how you doing? In this video, I'm going to take a look at the Iron Studios 1 tenth scale Mr. Freeze statue. This retails for $120 here in the US with an unlimited edition size. So let's go ahead and take a look at the art box. And right off the bat, I'm loving this color scheme. The artwork is by Ivan Reyes, who has worked on a number of pieces with Iron Studios, and I'm loving the design. It's almost like a modernization of the animated series design. Now that we've had a look at the box, let's move on to the figure. And here is Mr. Freeze. Now he does come in two pieces. Mr. Freeze himself is one solid piece and the base is its own piece. And his foot just keys into the big ice shard behind him. Speaking of ice shard, let's go ahead and talk about the base. And I'm loving how dynamic the base looks. Everything including the ice shards are made of polystone and it's also hand painted. Luckily there were no breakages so we can view this in all of its icy glory. I'm loving the paint applications, especially the metallic paint on the base. Moving on from the base, let's talk about Mr. Freeze himself. Like I said in the beginning, I'm really digging the design of his costume. Starting off with the boots, we have some really nice weathering on his boots. Moving on to the pants, I'm not really sure how this will turn out on camera, but there is some really nice texturing on the pants with the folds going down to his boots. I also love the blue lines throughout the outfit. Moving on to the belt, we again have some very nice texturing and some nice paint applications with a metallic silver belt buckle. And then moving on to the torso, we get to see a lot more armored elements, especially with the shoulder pads. We also get to see more of that metallic silver on the chest area that connects to some tubing which goes to the tanks on his back. I also like how this version of Mr. Freeze isn't too bulky like the Arkham Freeze, but he's also more protected than say the animated series version. It sort of meets this happy middle ground between armored and mobility. But let me know in the comments, do you like the more bulky Mr. Freeze suits or the more slimmer designs? Now let's talk about the Freeze Gun. Just like his suit, the Freeze Gun manages to strike the balance between bulky and simplicity. I'm loving the metallic silver throughout the figure and of course the steam effect emitting from the end of the gun. Moving on to the tanks on his back, you can see the dial, red valve, and the weathering on the tanks. I was thrown off by how these metallic silver lines just end abruptly. I had thought maybe some of the paint had chipped off, but looking at their website, it is intentional to show off more weathering. I'm personally not a fan of it. I wish they would have just continued the line, but that's a small nitpick. And lastly, we have the head. The goggles are looking on point, and the teeth look pretty good as well. Definitely not perfect, but it's hard to paint something so small at this scale. The dome itself is very nice, showing off that clear poly stone once again, and I recommend that if you do get this statue, that you don't grab Freeze by the dome to avoid getting fingerprints on it. And that is the Iron Studios 1 tenth scale Mr. Freeze statue. Let's go over the dimensions real quick. So Freeze is a little over six and a half inches tall, five inches wide, and a little under four inches in depth. Again, he retails for $120 plus about $15 shipping. So you're looking at about $135 for the statue, making him one of the more affordable 1 tenth scale pieces. So is he worth it? For me, yes, he is 100% worth it. If you're a fan of Mr. Freeze or just Batman and his rogues in general, then this piece is a nice addition to any Batman statue collection. But those are just my thoughts on the Iron Studios 1 tenth scale Mr. Freeze statue. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this statue in the comments below. And I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Good.